the goal is to to always win a championship. I mean, um, you know that that's the goal. But you know, that's up there. You know, right as us as a young team and just coming mm -hmm. together, we have to, um, you know, we have to continue to get better every day, and we have to work, you know, championship habits every day. And if we can do that and progress each and every day, each and every week, month, then we'll give ourselves a good chance to be successful. And and how successful? That's 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 the unknown. But what can be known for sure, if we work our tails off and, and we commit to each other, we sacrifice for one another, we play the right way, then we can be a good team. Uh, would you call yourself a true championship contender as of this season? Um, I mean, there's a lot of championship uh, contenders, but there's only one champion, and mm -hmm. that's the Golden State Warriors. They're, they're the team that everybody is trying to catch. Uh, but you also have the Houston Rockets, who's, who's really good. You got Oklahoma City, you got the Boston Celtics, the Philadelphia 76ers, Toronto Raptors. There's a lot of championship contending teams. Everyone knows that that trophy goes through Golden State. Um, let's talk about the Lakers, the other players maybe. I'm excited to play with all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, Every last one of them, from the guys that was there, um, you know, to all us newcomers that's coming. So. Um, it's an exciting time for us in LA. Did you have time to get used to your new life already? I mean, did you settle in Los no, Angeles and no, everything? No, no, no. I've been, I've been traveling. Uh -huh. uh, I've been working a lot this summer, so I have not got an opportunity to settle in. But um, I'll settle in in about three weeks when the season gets going. <laughs> I know you're involved in soccer with Liverpool, right? Yeah, you, with you Liverpool. still are, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, but you know you're in Paris, mm -hmm. home of. PSG. Yeah, yeah. So are you prepared to say something like Ali PSG? <laughs> I'm a f I'm, I love Neymar. Let me let's say that. Okay. Yeah, I'm a Neymar. That's good. What's good, y'all? This is King Tees. Welcome back to Throughout the Association. And man, I am convinced LeBron got 15 to 20 answers he go over in his head before every interview that he can say to any question you ask him. He say the same stuff every interview, no matter what they ask him. But this interview was done by Ramir Virchin. I might be saying that name wrong, but shout out to him. But if you guys seen my channel before, then you should kind of know what I expect from LA next year. Now, when it comes to the regular season, it might be tough for them. They may struggle just adjusting to each other. And I'm also of the mindset, they'll make a trade by the deadline. This may they, Their roster may be different by the end of the year. But right now, I would say Boston, of course, Golden State and the Rockets are better. But if we've learned any, anything from LeBron the last few years... It's not to judge his team from what they do in the regular season. I don't know where L.A. will fall in seeding, but LeBron teams are very different in a seven-game series. There are some things you can take from the regular season, but they'll be different in a seven-game series. And in a seven-game series, this L.A. team will be tough to beat. They got a lot of versatile guys. It's going to be tough to defend them and beat them four times. So to me, once the playoffs start, LA is the second best team in the West. I would give them a fair shot against Boston, and I think they'll face the Rockets maybe in the second round and beat them. When it comes to the Rockets, to me, if something can go wrong when it's really time to close the deal, when the pressure is highest in the playoffs, if something can go wrong, it will. Y'all know James Harden and Chris Paul cursed. Whether it's, whether, it's, whether it's an injury, whether it's missing 27 straight threes, whether it's James Harden not showing up for a game or a quarter, if something can go wrong, it will. But ultimately, despite another great LeBron playoff run, I think LA get to the conference finals and lose to Golden State in five, maybe six. We all know who winning next year. Ain't no debates about it. LeBron final streak is done. It's over with. Ain't nobody beating Golden State. They got the Avengers, Danny Phantom, Avatar, The Last Airbender, John Wick from Fortnite, Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather, Brock Lesnar. They got everybody on their damn team. Boston may be a tough matchup for them, but ultimately, unless Golden State is injured, nobody is beating that roster four times. They got a roster... You wouldn't have even made that team on 2K. You wouldn't even have fun playing the game because it would have been too easy. And if anybody used Golden State on 2K19, you're trash. You're bad. But my question for y'all is, if LA get to the conference finals and lose to Golden State, is that a failed year or is it something to build on? Usually I would say it's something to build on, but I want y'all to remember LeBron is, LeBron is 34. What you guys think about this? And definitely subscribe.